Hola chicos, soy yo, Senora Green. I wanted to help you out with those go-go verbs and the irregular verbs because I know that those can be tricky. So remember that salir means to leave. These are just refreshers. Venir is to come. Poner is to put. Traer is to bring. And decir is to say. Now all those verbs have one thing in common. They all have in irregular yo form, meaning it does not follow the rules for regular IR verbs like salir, venir, decir, or ER verbs like poner and traer. Instead, we have, a, instead of just ending in O, it ends in GO. Salir, instead of being salo for the yo form, is going to be salgo. Venir, instead of being veno, is vengo. Poner, instead of being pono, is pongo. Traer, instead of being trao, is traigo. Decir, instead of being deco, is digo. So that's what all five of those have in common. Now, within that list of the five that we just learned, venir and decir, besides having weird yo forms, are actually weird in other places too. They're what we call boot verbs. I remember that we learned the other day about the rule breakers, these verbs that don't follow the rules, where you don't just drop the ending and add something back, like usual, something different happens. Venir, remember that venir means to come. So the weird thing that happens here is inside the boot of the verb, meaning inside the boot, this boot shape on the chart, inside the yo form, the tu form, el e usted form, eos ustedes form, but not in nosotros vosotros, totally normal conjugation here. So the yo form, since it is a go-go verb, is vengo. Two, this is where it gets a little bit different. Instead of just being venes, is actually vienes. El e usted, viene. Nosotros, we're outside the boot, so it's normal. Venimos. Vosotros, venis. E ustedes, back inside the boot, so vienen. Decir, remember, means to say. Now remember that this also is a go-go verb, so it has the irregular yo form, besides being a boot verb, it also has the go ending. So the yo form for decir is digo. Two, this is where it gets a little bit different. Instead of deces, is actually dices. El e usted, dice. Now, nosotros, vosotros, we're outside the boot again, so it's decimos and decis. No change there, totally normal conjugation. Eos ustedes, back inside the boot, dicen. Tener is also a boot verb, but this is not a new verb for us, so this should just be a refresher. Tener, if you remember, means to have. Like when we learned back in Chapter 4, uh, how, to, how to say how old you are. Yo tengo 14 años. I have 14 years, or I'm 14 years old. Tener is a go-go verb as well, so the yo form for tener is tengo. Since this is a boot verb. The inside part is going to be strange as well. So the two form, instead of just being tenes, is tienes. El e usted, tiene. Nosotros, vosotros, we're outside the boot. So tenemos, tenéis. Eos ustedes, tienen. Ir is not a boot verb because it doesn't just have irregularity within the boot. It's weird all over. Remember the verb ir means to go. So the yo form of ir is voy. Tu, vas. El e usted, va. Nosotros, vamos. Vosotros, vais. Ellos ustedes, van. Ser, also, if you remember from the um, very first verb we learned, means to be. Okay? But it, it breaks the rules. If we drop the er, we usually add an o back for the yo form, but the yo form is not so, it's soy. For the two form, we usually drop the ER and add ES, but it's not SES, it's actually ERES. Then S, SOMOS, SOIS, and SON. Hey, you remember that song, SOI, ERES, S, SOMOS, SON, SOI, 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 ERES, S, SOMOS, SON. Let me know if this is, these are still a little bit tricky for you, or you can see some different, uh, the practice activity I have in that Schoology folder. Let me know if you have questions. Gracias, adios.